what will happen to housing in 6 to 12 months? Everyone seems pretty in denial about prices needing to go down. Is this the new paradigm? No one will buy your house bags at higher rates. Truth. The housing bubble of 2006 took a few years to reach the bottom. People that think it's going to happen in one year are delusional. Technically we have recession until 2024 to 2025. Six months, sellers will come on strong one last time with stupid high prices, market will be saturated, panic will start settling in. 12 months, real estate market will have ground to a halt except for the best deal selling at low prices, market will be oversaturated, sellers will begin wailing, gnashing teeth, rending their clothes and sobbing uncontrollably. 18 months capitulation begins. 24 months, bottom will be in and sellers will sell at huge discounts. At most it will drop to pre-pandemic highs then will go back up again whether it takes one year or five years it will surpass post-pandemic highs. Priced in. Best case things kind of freeze and the housing market doesn't really lose much because while no one is buying also no one needs to sell. Worst case, economy gets fucked, people lose their jobs en masse and now people actually do have a reason to sell and the only buyers that can absorb the sell pressure are much further down in price, like 25 to 50% down from here. But I don't know though. Divorce is a major agent of foreclosures and short-slash-distressed home sales. Most homeowners are over-leveraged and could never cover their monthly nut on just one income. Imagine banking on the average American roastie to act rationally. The people who won't sell doesn't matter, the same goes for any assets. However the current market is caused by the feds and speculators, the speculators will sell. I'm a buyer with about $300,000 in cash looking for a modest home in Arizona but I'm patient. I see no reason to buy right now when most home sellers are asking almost twice what they paid 3 or 4 years ago. I'm not paying that. I just can't see any downside to waiting a few months at least. I can't see prices actually rising from what they are now. Friend just bought house and land package in 2018 for 550,000 Australian dollars. Just sold it for nearly $800,000 3 years later. This crap is a joke. Unironically hope the market collapses. It'll bring our poop third world tier economy down with it, but that's for the best in the long term. As long as unemployment remains low I don't see any reason why there will be a crash due to the vast amount of fixed rate mortgages on the books right now. If the unemployment rate reaches 8% like the Fed is targeting and there are mass white collar layoffs, it could very well be a bloodbath. They're currently trying to push the economy into more unemployment, the rate hikes won't stop until unemployment rises. The only way to get inflation down to cool the economy off. But the point everyone's making is that with the decade-long bull market, a lot of people started planning their financial futures like a bear market or downturn wouldn't exist, so a lot of people are significantly overleveraged. A lot who don't even realize it are about to get heemed because last year no, they weren't overleveraged, but a layoff and a new job that causes someone to take a salary hit, if they don't adjust their expenses fast, they will find themselves not just underwater but under a sheet of ice with no way out. Not even FUD but I realistically can see some of these newer Plan O homes going entirely empty. $850,000 for a cardboard box made of fiberboard that has a total teardown lifespan of 15 years? No way, those houses, even on the primus land, shouldn't be $850,000, let alone half a million. Most of them are barely worth $300,000 and that's on the high end. The biggest factor is that in just a little over a decade, the house will be so shot from cheap materials that you'll be faced with a teardown and rebuild according to HOA code or cut losses and sell the bottom. A lot of people who were buying these homes never once stopped to consider that they're literally engineered to fail after 15 years. The costs to repair will outweigh any gains, due to strict HOA remodel guidelines, and a lot of these boxes are literally going to be worthless in 20 years. I've been telling everyone just wait until the Zoomers start sharing it on TikTok. The house they just bought in 2020 is already deteriorating and then they'll get red-pilled on the truth which is they bought a cardboard hut on a worthless plot of land. That's when the real fun begins. When the Zoomers become like the boomers about those Plan O homes and swear them off entirely. Average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage is about 7% right now. Feds are hinting at 0.25% increases each meeting next year placing us at 8-9% to end of year for the average mortgage. I work as a real estate agent in California and sellers are finally capitulating on home prices. Come January, buyers will come in more aggressive at lower prices. Ignore everything in this thread that's catastrophically bearish. To answer your question, 6 months, house prices down another 5-10%. to Rates at 8.25%. Balance between sellers and buyers, a normal market. 12 months, rates finally stop hiking, no ease for a while, rates resting about 9%, House prices bottom out and market finally settled down. 
No just because it's gone up in the last year doesn't mean it has to go back down like 2008. Look at all the charts you want, treasury yields, M1 supply, etc. doesn't matter. This is the new normal now get back to work. 33.2% of UK property owners have no mortgage. It's hard to work out properly. Yes there will be forced sellers due to rising interest rates and job losses. But there is a solid third of property which has no mortgage so no pressure to sell. If prices fall then they simply won't sell. This has the opposite effect and keeps stock low and prices high. Property prices will crash but just like in Spain in 2008 it's the shitty property nobody wants like new build crappily built apartment blocks in shitty areas. The good stuff went down slightly but nowhere near the 40-80% to seen in the crap apartments. A good three-bed villa in a nice area on the coast has went down very little they just stopped going up for a few years. Same happened in most major cities throughout Europe. There's going to be bargains but not anywhere you'll want to live or raise a family. 75% of people will be homeless by 2025 or so. I guarantee it. It's a new paradigm unironically. Immigration he you lows under Trump but Brandon is making up for it so demand will skyrocket. You'll never own or have a chance to buy low. Boomers will sell for millions and retire to third world countries which will become the grey world countries as all the young third worlders move to your neighborhood and leave you holding the bag. I firmly believed up until last week that we'd see a major correction over the next year. Now I'm thinking the bottom is in after the Philly Fed just corrected their jobs report lies that said we only gained 10,000 jobs instead of the originally reported 1.1 million. If the Fed is basing their rate hikes on jobs, which they are, this may be a good indication of a pivot.